Hi, I'm David Strait with Weathermatic Technical Services. And in this video, we're going to discuss how to perform the self-diagnostics blink test on the SLW-5. This allows us to check the condition of the batteries, the processor, the temperature sensor, and communications between the weather station and its hub inside the controller's cabinet. Now, the first thing we want to identify when looking at the weather station is our date code and revision. You'll find this on the bottom louver adjacent to the battery compartment. As you can see, this one was manufactured April 2022 and is revision H. Now, to begin or initiate the blink test, we simply just press and hold the rain switch on top of the weather station. And within a few seconds, the blink test will begin so that we can interpret what may or may not be happening with this weather station. So I'm gonna go ahead and press and hold that now. And within a few seconds, we'll be able to see what's going on here. All right, so we got what we expected to see, four green blinks. Now, if I continue to hold the switch and turn my attention to the panel, you can see that the green LED has turned red and that the panel displays were in rain. So I'm gonna go ahead and release the switch. And within a few seconds, this will go back to green and we'll see the time of day on the LCD. All right, so if you're getting an SLW error uh, in relationship to communications or temperature uh, issues, you will be forced to reset the weather station hardware. And to do this, we first open the panel to access the interior of the cabinet. And then we're going to unplug our air card from the controller's cabinet and just set that aside for now. All right, next thing is to power off the controller completely. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove power from the system now. Next, after we get the controller powered off, We'll remove the AAA batteries from the battery tray located inside the weather station. So we'll go ahead and get that removed. Now we have to wait 60 seconds to allow all the energy stored inside these devices to dissipate. Once we meet that 60 seconds, the next step is to return the power supply to the controller. So I'm gonna go ahead and power up the system now. Then we're gonna close the panel, make sure everything is out of the way. All right, the panel's gonna boot up. And what we wanna do is wait till we can see the time of day displayed on the LCD. And then we just wanna make sure that our rain freeze sensing is in the on position as indicated by this green LED. If it's in the off position, make sure you switch it to on. The next step is to take our SLW-5 and reinsert the batteries into the battery tray. When we do this, immediately, this LED is going to blink, showing us its condition. So I'm gonna capture that here. All right, snap the batteries in. Okay, we had a red blink. So this reset failed, and so we will have to repeat that procedure again to successfully connect the weather station. In this case, I'll just remove the fuse, powering the system off. Okay, we are going to replace the fuse, restore power to the system. We'll get this tucked away properly. Close our panel. Allow the system to boot up. And again, we're waiting for the time of day to show up on our display. We are going to reinsert the AAA batteries into the battery tray. As you can see, we received four green blinks. So this reboot was successful. Now we're gonna press and hold the rain switch on top of the sensor. We see that we get four green blinks. Again, turn your attention to the panel while you continue to hold the rain switch and you'll see that the LED has gone red and that the display is reading rain. Now remember, you can only see rain on panels that were manufactured 
from April 2018 to present day. On the older panels, you'll just see the red indication for rain freeze sensing that the sensor is active. So I'm gonna go ahead and release the switch. And within a few seconds, we go back to normal as indicated by the green LED. And now to finish this, we're simply going to insert the RJ11 adapter into the port to reconnect the air card at this time. And then once again, once the system boots, we're gonna test the switch on the sensor one last time. All right, press and hold the rain switch for 15 seconds. We have four green blinks holding. LED indicates rain, LCD indicates rain. We have successfully eliminated the SLW error and restored communications to the panel through the SL hub as well as the air card. Thank you for watching. If you have support questions, please email us at support at weathermatic.com. Thank you and have an awesome day.